Hey everyone, how are you all? I hope you are following my previous videos of the trigonometry. Today we will discuss about the trigonometric identities. This video is very important for you because there will be several questions based on the trigonometric identities. These questions will be frequently asked in the public examinations. So let us complete the trigonometric identities, how we can solve the problems and how to derive the trigonometric identities. Here we have triangle ABC at uh, B the, there is a right angle and AC is the hypotenuse. Now when you apply the Pythagoras theorem for this triangle ABC you can find AB square plus AC square AB square plus BC square is equal to AC square that means the hypotenuse square is the sum of the squares of the remaining two sides. So, AB and AC, AB and BC are the adjacent side and opposite sides to the theta and AC is the hypotenuse here and using this Pythagoras theorem, we can prove the first identity of trigonometry that is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Let us see. From the basic definition of sin theta, we can say that is opposite to theta over hypotenuse. Opposite to theta is AB and hypotenuse is AC. And when you take the square of that uh, sine, you get uh, sin square theta is equal to AB square by AC square. Now, let us take the cos theta. From the basic definition of cos theta, adjacent to theta over hypotenuse, the adjacent to theta is BC and hypotenuse is AC. Let us take the square of cos theta that is cos square theta. Cos square theta is equal to BC square over AC square. Now, let us add up these two values sin square theta plus cos square theta. When you add these two, these two fractions when you add up, you can find AB square plus BC square over AC square. Now here you can replace this AB square plus BC square with AC square as we have already noticed from the Pythagoras theorem by applying in this triangle. So, a, when you substitute AB square plus BC square with AC square, then you will get AC square over AC square, they will get cancelled and you are getting 1. That means sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. The first identity is proved. We have three basic trigonometric identities. The first one is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. The second one is tan square theta plus 1 is equal to secant square theta or 1 plus tan square theta is secant square theta and the third one is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta. So we are going to derive the second identity now. Let us take the first identity and divide the whole identity by cos square theta. When you divide the cos square theta on both the sides you can get cos square theta over cos square theta here also then you get here sin square theta over cos square theta plus cos square theta over cos square theta is equal to 1 over cos square theta. When you simplify this we know that sin square theta by cos square theta e is tan square theta plus cos square theta cos square theta gets cancelled that is 1 is equal to 1 over cos square theta that is secant square theta. So we got the second identity. The second identity that is tan square theta plus 
1 is equal to secant square theta. Let us solve the third identity. By taking the first identity, we can prove that. Again, writing the first identity, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. Now, divide the whole expression, I mean whole equation by sin square theta. Divided by sin square theta. Here also, divide by sin square theta. What you will get? Sin square theta over sin square theta plus you can split this uh, fraction cos square theta over sin square theta is equal to 1 over sin square theta. Now let us see sin square theta sin square theta gets cancelled then that means it is 1 plus cos square theta over sin square theta that is cot square theta. 1 over sin square theta, the reciprocal of sin theta is cosecant square theta. So, 1 over sin square theta is cosecant square theta. So, we have got the another identity that is 1 plus cot square theta is cosecant square theta. Let us solve some problems based on the trigonometric identities now. Here is one question. Prove that 1 over sin square theta minus cot square theta is equal to 1. This is very simple question. As we know that 1 over sin square theta is cosecant square theta. You can write it and minus cot square theta and we know that cosecant square theta minus cot square theta it is equal to 1 by the identity. This is a very basic question. Second question here. Find the value of 1 minus cos square theta plus 1 plus cot square theta under root. Here we have the first equation the identity sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Using that identity we can write 1 minus cos square theta as sin square theta. And we know that 1 plus cot square theta is cosecant square theta. So these two values will, we will substitute here. That means 1 minus square root of 1 minus cos square theta over 1 plus cot square theta gives you 1 minus square root of square root of 1 minus cos square theta you can write it as sin square theta over you can split this square root now 1 plus cot square theta is nothing but 1 plus cot square theta is cosecant square theta now when you remove the square root you get sin theta over cosecant theta and you know that the cosecant theta is the reciprocal of the sin theta. So sin theta over 1 over sin theta. When you take the simplified form of this sin theta times sin theta that is equal to you get the sin square theta. So the value of square root of 1 minus cos square theta over 1 plus cos square theta is equal to sin square theta. I have a third question here. If secant theta plus tan theta is uh, 3, find the value of secant theta minus tan theta. Using the basic uh, trigonometric identity that is uh, secant square theta minus uh, tan square theta, we can find this answer is equal to 1. We know this basic trigonometric identity. And even we can split this into secant theta plus tan theta times secant theta minus tan theta as it is in the form of a square minus b square. So let us split it. Secant theta plus tan theta into secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1. Here 
we need to find the value of secant theta minus tan theta. So let us take secant theta minus tan theta is equal to 1 over secant theta plus tan theta which is 1 over we know the value of secant theta plus tan theta is given in the problem that is 3. So we got the value of secant theta minus tan theta which is 1 over 3. I hope you understood today's topic and if you like this video you can share it to your friends and if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching.